Gerald, very good evening to you and thanks for your time. And I suppose this week is the week we should be talking about this. After everything we heard yesterday and the ominous outlook for the economy, how can we tell people to save? Is it actually possible? Well, I think the reality is that um, saving is normally supposed to be for a rainy day. And a rainy day is here. And basically, we need to be saving more. So, I mean, how do we actually start saving more? when we just heard from the finance minister yesterday that there are more taxes to come next year how do we how do we prioritize a little something to put away for that rainy day how do we manage to to put away that something i think it's 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 it bears it, it boils down to sacrifice commitment and discipline and it's something which most people struggle with now in terms of sacrifice and discipline um, most financial institutions now offer automated savings options so basic bank accounts allow you to either round up or to round down the money which you spend on a daily basis and obviously that helps you a lot with the sacrifice and the discipline part however commitment is really where most of us struggle in that we may start but we don't finish but with the state of the economy and with what we heard yesterday um, it seems like we're in for a rainy day which is, might last a few months and uh, even a year or two cycle in terms of the economy recovering mm -hmm. so it means that if you haven't been saving you really need to be tightening your belt and those of you or those of us who've been fortunate enough to be saving um, it might mean we might need to dip into our savings just to get by now we see that uh, just looking at what the advice is so far for this year it's not just about saving money but it's about investing that money so that you can grow that money further what are the, the sort of do's and don'ts when it comes to that well, I think the main do when it comes to investing and saving is don't do something you do not understand. When times are hard, when times are tough like now, already the Ponzi schemes, the pyramid schemes start flourishing mm. and popping up left, right and center. So if essentially rule number one, don't do anything that you do not understand. Um, secondly, shop around. You know, there are always options in terms of financial planning advice or, in, or even investment managers. Try and get the one who gives you the best comfort in terms of making you understand what you're getting into and also understand that investment means putting in money which you're going to vest out the process of putting in means you must vest which means there's a time period understand how long you're putting that money down for it's not always easy to put in money today and take it out tomorrow and even the JSE as cheap as it looks in terms of the share prices is not giving much in terms of investment returns and hasn't done so for the last years so what would be a reasonable amount or percentage of, of, of what people get every month in their bank accounts, Gerald, to put away or to invest? Look, if you're someone who's starting employment for the first day tomorrow and you've never ever has started saving, I would say start at 30%, start there and you'll always be fine all your life. For some of us who've already made with what lives it becomes a little bit more difficult to assign more money to savings but a good number would probably be in the range of 15 to 20 percent of your monthly income should be saved either in your pension provident fund or put somewhere in a vehicle where it's growing over time also what's important these days is also make sure you have some cash so five percent of your income should always be in cash because nowadays there's more and more instances where you need cash um, for emergencies or for day-to-day -day expenses all right, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you very much. That's uh, Gerald Nwandi Ambira from the South African Savings Institute. Uh, it is World Savings Day, in case you didn't know. Well, start tonight, I suppose, or start tomorrow morning if you can. Just uh, put away what you can and find a good, decent place to invest that money.